safe silent valley silent valley is located in the western ghat that is the chain of mountain in the along the western coast of india starting from gujarat to ending in the southernmost uh, portion that is kerala uh, this uh, western ghat uh, mountain chain of mountain this actually their height increases as we move from uh, north to the south so that is uh, as there is increase in height of the mountain so is the increase in flora and fauna diversity which means that the uh, flora and fauna in the western ghat of gujarat will be much less than that of fauna and floral diversity in kerala that is why it is very much important not to um, not to uh, interfere with nature in the uh, kerala region that is in the silent valley region this dam was to be built on river kunti puza which would inundate upstream areas and as we know that this is the home of many endangered and endemic flora and fauna so many uh, uh, such animals will be um, will be their habitat will be lost and so they uh, might uh, be totally become extinct from this uh, region that is why uh, many naturalist environmentalist ornithologist herpetologists they were very much concerned about these uh, flora and fauna that will be impacted by this dam this area it was first discovered the silent valley area first discovered during the british raj in that is the colonial rule uh, of the britishers in india and they named it silent valley because of the total absence of any sound actually the cicadas or the crickets that are very much common in the indian forests they were absent here because of high humidity condition under which the cicadas were not able to grow as a result of which this this entire um, forested uh, valley they were uh, entirely silent so a dam was uh, proposed in the 1970s and there was uh, very much um, there were uh, many committees were even set up uh, after uh, on the behest of the environmentalists many committees were set up by the government and with a lot of ups and downs after three decades uh, this uh, area the uh, proposal of the dam was scrapped and this area was made a national um, a national park and this also saved a lot of tribal people also especially in this region uh, that is kerala and the uh, and the border region of kerala and tamil nadu it is the home of many forestal tribes like the irula like the muduga and the kurumba tribes so their home was also saved and they these people were saved from getting dislocated uh, internally dislocated be, because of this dam so they were also saved so uh, this uh, entire movement it uh, actually spanned for almost 3 decade now let me uh, show you the location as you see this is the location and actually this is the state of kerala and this is the silent valley and silent valley actually the dam was proposed on the this kunti puza that is kunti river puza is the term for river in um, the people of kerala they say river as puza so at the junction of two river kunti puza and bharat puza this dam was proposed and this dam actually uh, this uh, river is not a very high uh, volume river this is a very uh, uh, fast flowing but very low volume river and but perennial river so a dam was proposed in this uh, kunti river and um, the environmentalists got very concerned because of the rich diverse flora so actually uh this uh, this uh, the mountainous region around the valley they were actually very diverse because uh of the high humidity as well as also the high uh, altitude 
so the entire uh, um, the hills around the valley they were divided into the upper uh, the high, at the top altitude were the sholas sholas these sholas were actually grasslands and with a very um, mountain top grasslands with very uh, limited number of trees and actually these sholas they were actually considered as the ecological islands because uh, this entire top region that is this uh, shola region has this grassland while the lower region this region will have the um, broad leafed broad leafed conifer sorry broad leaf evergreen so this region uh the this region that i'm drawing in dots this region has broad leaf evergreen uh forests because of the high um high amount of moisture and and uh, the lower most region that is this region it contained the dry deciduous forest this is the dry deciduous sub dry deciduous so we see that the mountain same mountain has different habitat as a result of this the flora and fauna it also shows great diversity this region has three to four species of um deer it has got sloth bear it has got tiger it has got many species of birds as well as the most important thing is the butterfly mm, this region silent valley is famous for its butterflies and moth its various endangered uh, species of lichens and the bryophytes so we see that there is a diversity in the habitat as we go up the um, uh, mountain so as a result we see that this uh, region need to be protected if a dam is built upstream area will be inundated that will mainly um, the, uh, the flora and fauna would perish because of habitat destruction so will the people the tribal people the irula the muduga the kurumba people they will also be getting displaced and these people who are the indigenous tribes of india they uh, live a very um, a life in the lap of nature so if we, even if we displace them so um, displace them and uh, give them a, a proper relocation in the town area they will be emotionally di displaced because they from the very uh, beginning of their life till the end of their life they has been living in the lap of nature they know nature better they know the natural herbs they live a life entirely different from a uh, common people living in the town so they will be emotionally displaced if they are uh, getting um, they are relocated to any places that is why uh, this uh, region needed to be saved both for the tribal people as well as for the wide uh, diverse flora and fauna there in this slide see uh, this uh, area has dense forest that has been um, uh, differing uh, as we move um, higher and higher up so we have a wide range of uh, flora and fauna and uh, some of them are endangered for example lion tailed macaw and equally uh, uh, this uh, kalenia species which is uh, known as kapuk tree and this kalenia species is the uh, it provides food to this endangered lion tailed macaw so apart from that they also contain other type of macaw like bonnet macaw but uh, this lion tailed macaw is an endangered species so uh, environmentalists around the world were very much concerned about saving this species apart from that it also contain many other very uh, endemic species like this travancore flying squirrel malabar giant squirrel and we also know that spangolin is also very um, very rare and uh, this uh, hairy winged bat so all these and also we have many rare and endemic species of butterflies in this region silent valley 
we know that uh, the western ghats we know in india uh, the southern portion of india this is the western ghat and this is the eastern ghat so this is the western ghat and these are the eastern ghats so western ghat usually that is this portion western ghat is having high amount of rainfall during the rainy season and eastern ghat on the other hand have comparatively low amount of rainfall so very interesting feature is that uh, during the rainy season we can see a major butterfly migration from the western ghat to the eastern region eastern ghat region so this uh, butterfly migration is also very um, distinct during the rainy season and this butterfly also we have many endemic species of butterfly as well as moth also high degree of on endemism can be found in case of orchids and also many uh, type of uh, liver worts as well as lichens endemic species can be found so we see that uh, this region uh, is um, is a home it harbors very endemic endangered species so this habitat this fragile habitat should be very much uh, conserved so this was actually a uh, concern of uh, steve green i'll discuss it later uh, so i uh, the forest it was declared as a national park let me tell you first uh, actually during the 1847 uh, britishers during the colonial rule they discovered this uh, region and uh, since then it has been visited by many um, britishers because of its natural beauty and many botanists and zoologists they has been visiting this area and uh, in in fact 1914 uh, it was declared a reserve forest but after uh, independence uh, the forest department of india they were doing some forestry operation which means that they were doing some harvesting of the timber as well as non timber forest product uh, uh, during the time 1972 to 76 but during this time many other things were happening that is especially during the 1973 uh, planning commission it approved planning commission in india it approved the hydroelectric power project that is to be built on the river kunti puza so this project was announced and approved but there was some cash shortage so uh, it was not um, it was not implemented the building of dam was not started then and there but uh, however the news of this approval of this uh, project came uh, to the ears of many conservationists so uh, steve green who is based in new york zoological society he expressed his concern about the endangered species of macaw that is lion tailed macaw when he wrote a letter to another herpetologist that is romulus witaker who understood the grave consequence that this dam would um, bring to silent valleys flora and fauna so he again wrote to our bird man of india salim ali and then uh, steve green romulus witaker and salim ali together they um, collaborated and they started to get um, Ma, uh, to make this movement a mass movement to garner support they wrote many petitions to the state government to the central government to bring uh, uh, attention bring the attention to the grave consequence that this uh, dam would bring so steve green he was a naturalist romulus witaker uh romulus witaker he was a herpetologist and sali mali he was an ornithologist so all they uh, together they colluded and uh, started uh, to write many petitions and make the mass awareness against the ill effect of this dam then in 1976 the 
national committee in, a, in one national committee was set up under the leadership of Zafar Futchali and uh, the main um, main motto of these uh, committee was to see what are the uh, bad effects of this uh, dam so uh, the, as when the result came it was recommended that that uh, hydroelectric power project should be scrapped uh, this is the uh, this is the di diagram of this is a picture of this uh, mouse deer which is which is very um, rare and uh, this is found in the silent valley this is the river otter and this is the bison so we see that a lot of uh, rare species are found so eminent environmentalist Salim Ali, Madhav Ghatkel, M.S. Swaminathan, they together wrote a letter towards the then Prime Minister of India, that is Murarji Desai. And uh, but however, he rejected their plea and said uh, that the dam should be made. So later in seven, 1978, a sanction was put on the project and in the next year a PIL was logged in the high court in Kerala high court and during this period that is from uh, 1973 uh, to this uh, period two organizations that is Kerala Shastra Sahitya Parishad and Silent Valley Samrakshan Samiti these two um, committees also uh, took up massive road shows um, uh, various uh, street play and rallies and uh, in order to uh, garner mass support in order to make the mass um, attentive about the conditions that is uh, that will happen if the dam uh, dam comes to fruition dam is built so these two agencies that is the uh, Kerala Shastra Sahitya Parishad and K uh, Silent Valley Samrakshan Samiti, they were instrumental in garnering mass support um, uh, for this movement. They were able to, um, uh, to change this movement um, to a mass movement rather than a, move, uh, a movement of few environmentalists it turned to a mass movement and also another uh, very famous po poet that is uh, Sugata Kumari she also wrote many poems and songs about um, this uh, silent valley in order to make uh, in order to bring silent valley safe silent valley movement to the attention of mass she also wrote a lot of poems and uh, uh, songs so uh, earlier prime minister uh, murarji desai he um, rejected the plea to stop the uh, to stop the uh, building of the dam but after uh, him another uh, prime minister that is charan singh he was very sympathetic about the uh, cause of uh, um, safe silent valley so he instituted a committee that was under the uh, leadership of ms swaminathan so ms swaminathan he is a very uh, famous agriculturist in india who is uh, responsible for a lot of um, hybrid uh, varieties of wheat um, rice potato so um, this uh, famous agriculturist headed the committee that was instituted by Charan Singh to investigate in this issue. As the um, Swaminathan uh, committee was doing its work, um, the PIL that was lodged in the Kerala High Court, so they that was rejected. The PIL was actually lodged so that a stay order can be put on the construction of the dam and uh, it was uh, requested that the stay order should uh, uh, be till uh, in the uh, report of Swaminathan committee came but that plea was rejected so in the, ne in the um, um, 
next few years uh, when charan singh was replaced prime minister charan singh was replaced by the next prime minister indira gandhi uh, she, she instituted another committee new committee that was uh, headed by uh, mgk menon and um, it was also chaired by madhav gadkil and dilip biswas all three of them are environmentalists and they were actually um, this uh, committee they um, they were uh, investigating the same issue that is whether or not to abandon this project so in the next uh, few years that is indira gandhi died but however uh, the committee that he she instituted that um, gave the re result and they said uh, to abandon the project as a result of this committee in 1985 uh the silent valley was declared a national park so and in fact it was inaugurated by mrs indira gandhi's son the next prime minister rajiv gandhi so the silent valley became a national park and in the next year it was in the core area of nilgiri biosphere reserve so here we see that uh, in the three decade of uh, this uh, movement save silent valley movement we see many ups and downs some prime minister some um, uh, the uh, central government were very sympathetic to the cause while other was not and in this way there was highs and lows in this movement but however uh, many naturalist as well as uh, uh, many uh, ngos and uh, especially uh, sahitya uh, sahit sahitya samiti and uh, silent valley samrakshan samiti as well as the poet uh, sugata kumari who turned this movement into a mass movement so all these people they were um, instrumental in bringing this movement to a success and now as it is a national park it is the park, core area of a biosphere reserve i would request anyone visiting india or um, anyone who is indian also visiting this uh, region they they can visit this region and in fact this region is under the forest department so the entry point we is uh, at mokali and you should um, go to this park and enjoy the scenic beauty though entire area is not uh, cannot be reached we can just uh, trek or take a um, jeep from mokali to uh, the sairandri and after the uh, this region that is the sairandri uh the core area starts and no um staying um or uh, any other activity is permitted in the core area however in the buffer zone uh the village tribals they are given limited rights to make plantations of tea coffee and eucalyptus so this is uh, the end of this uh, video i would request you to watch this documentary one acts away i haven't put the link to this video but this is a documentary that has been based on the words of various environmentalists about this movement so you can uh, watch this uh, documentary for a better uh, knowledge of this uh, entire movement so she is uh, sugata kumari this uh, famous uh, poetess uh, she is sugatha kumari and she is instrumental in uh, providing mass garnering mass support for this movement she wrote many a poem which became which uh, which were uh, sung in the street plays as well as in the rallies of the silent valley movement and uh, what started as a movement of the conservationist naturalists now uh, after garnering mass uh, support it spiraled out into a mass movement and not only the naturalists but this a uh, creative people like sugata kumari she uh, they are responsible for the success of this movement and i have been making similar um, eco conservation movements seven eco conservation movements i have been making videos already i have made two videos that is the bishnoi movement which is the precedent or pioneer movement to all uh, environment saving movement in india and another movement that is the chipko 
which is the antecedent to this uh, uh, Vishnui movement, but uh, also precedent to all other movements. So I have put that link of these videos in the description. You can go to my channel also to watch other type of videos. That is, I have I have been making videos mostly on uh, botany based uh, syllabuses of the masters and graduate uh, program uh, in our country, India. And uh, you can go and watch the uh, the algae, uh, the fungi, cyanobacteria, tridophyte, and um, lichen and many other type of uh, videos that I have put in separate playlist you can go and watch those videos also if you do like my video you do share it with your friends and please do uh, hit the like button if you like it and do subscribe because your subscription it encourages me to make more such videos thanks again for watching this video